Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As you create the appropriate relationships between the tables in your database, you will need to set the properties of the table joins to ensure that they are set up as you would like. The main join property that you will need to set is the referential integrity of the join. Referential integrity refers to the built-in set of rules that Access uses to ensure that the relationship between the data within the joined fields of the tables is valid. It ensures that every unique value within the related field in the child table, or the many table in a one-to-many join, has a corresponding value to which it is related in the parent table, or the one table in a one-to-many join. This ensures that when you delete a record in the parent table or the one in the one-to-many join, that all of the related records in the child table, representing the many side of the one-to-many join, aren't orphaned or without a reference to a record in the parent table. This also prevents you from having meaningless data within your database tables, like a sale record that has no customer reference. In order to set up referential integrity, the relationship between the fields within the joined tables must fall within three rules. First, the related field in the parent table must be the primary key within the table. Second, the related fields in both tables must share the same or compatible data types. Third, both tables must belong to the same database. As long as you've got a relationship that falls in line with these rules, you can enforce referential integrity upon it. To do this, simply check the checkbox for Enforce Referential Integrity within the Edit Relationships dialog box that appears when you create a table relationship. Below that, there are two options that can be set once you have selected to apply Referential Integrity, Cascade Update Related Fields and Cascade Delete Related Records. Checking the Cascade Update Related Fields checkbox will ensure that if a data value is changed in the joined field within the parent table, that the change will be cascaded to the related data in the joined field of the child table, updating them as well. Checking the Cascade Delete Related Records will ensure that if you delete a record in the parent table, all of the related records in the child table will be deleted as well. Note that there is a Join Type button in the Edit Relationships dialog box. If you click it, you will be presented with the three types of possible ways that the data between the tables could be related within the Join Properties dialog box. Often, you will not need to change these settings as you normally want Join Type 1 in a relational database. However, if you do change the Join Type settings in this window as part of the Join Between the Tables, note that this permanently alters the way that the data between the two tables is related. You can select either option 1, 2, or 3 in the Join Properties dialog box and then click the OK button to return to the Edit Relationships dialog box. Note that if you choose a join type other than the default of 1, the join lines shown in the Relationships window change to join arrows. These arrows reflect the direction of the join between the two tables per your selection in the Join Properties dialog box. When you have set any of the options you want to apply to the relationship in the Edit Relationships dialog box, click either the Create or OK buttons to set the join relationship. To edit the join in the future to change any settings, you must double-click on the join line itself within the Relationships window to view its properties in the Edit Relationship dialog box again. To delete a table join, right-click on the table join that you want to delete and then select the Delete command from the pop-up menu that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.